Welcome back. We are joined now by one of our favorite people, Tucker Carlson. Oh. His show, Tucker Carlson Tonight, <laughs> is moving to a new time Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern, and the five, these folks right here, moving to 9 p.m. So we'll be primetime neighbors in just a few days. I know he's looking forward to that. We are. Hi, Tucker. Uh, Greg's hey. going to kick us off because I was going to ask you a question, but he wants to ask you the question, so I'm going to give it to him. Well, yeah, now, you know what? I don't want to ask the question. Oh, All right, no, I'm whining about it. It's a green room. I, I know. I happen to know that you are having a very special guest on Monday that I was trying to get for a while and was turned down many times. But somehow you have some special power, Mr. Tucker Carlson. So who is this special guest that you ripped from me? Uh, so, so Caitlyn Jenner's coming on on Monday. Yes. And I'm interested in Caitlyn Jenner's politics and, and what it must be like to be in that position. People coming at you from both sides. And so I want to have a conversation about it. Wait. What does that mean, coming at you from both sides? Because she's she a... Gets, she gets hit from the left and the right. Yeah, well, oh, that's I, right. I, I, so the, I was thinking about it a different way. Okay. Uh, but Tucker, Caitlyn is a uh, conservative, right? I, I, that's my understanding. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I haven't... This is the first interview we've done, so I don't, I don't really know, but I've read that. And I'm interested in it, and I'm also interested in the idea that, you know, people sort of wind up spokespeople for a cause or a group, maybe against their will. And I don't mm. know if that's the case here, but I, or I'm going to try and find out. I know that and she has a new book out, um, and one of the things that I, apparently there's a little bit of a feud that she has with Ellen DeGeneres, and partly it was because of that very issue, the whole spokesperson thing. Well, how would you like to be, how would you like to be recruited involuntarily as a spokesperson? For people you don't know. Can you imagine? Mm. I wouldn't like that at all. That happens to me all the time. Um, we're going to we're gonna keep going here with other yeah. questions. We can't really go for it. Greg, no one cares. Okay, so um, <laughs> Tucker, you know, I, I actually got a chance at the, um, well, I guess at the inauguration and the night before to talk with, you know, um, Caitlyn Jenner and big fan. I show me of uh, Fox News. I invited her to come on the five. So you really did. Remember she came to the book signing for yes, the Casper book. I know. Fantastic. But what Big is the main deal. question that you want to ask her? Oh, come on, KG. I can't tell come you on. that. <laughs> come on. Come on. It's talk. about OJ. It's about it's about OJ. And by the way, no. it may be. And also mm -hmm. about, you know, a, a remarkable athletic career that people sort of you know, ignore. I, I, I've known Tucker for almost 25 years now. The, that answer right there, she doesn't have any idea what's going on. <laughs> hey, Tucker, Tucker, let me ask you a question, uh -huh. though. Uh, you uh, uh, had the 9 o'clock hour that we're going to take over, yeah. and, uh, and you had a uh, substantial lead-in, uh, uh, which is very, very fortunate. The That's question sure. is, are you going to guarantee <laughs> us the same uh, lead-in? Yeah. What oh, are you going to do? Because a lot of, these, a lot of our success is riding on you, buddy, which generally, when I go to the horse track, I don't take the 50 to 1 shot. But uh, in your case, it should be about <laughs> 3 to 1. And you should be the favorite. What do you think? I mean, look, I'm, I'm following someone who has been in this seat for 20 years, more than 20 years, and really successfully, you know, really understood this business and the audience and really hard worker, you know, really talented guy, to be totally honest with you. And I've been here five months. You know, so I'm going to do my best, and um, I have a lot of things I'm interested in. I believe in skepticism above all. I think it's the main problem with the press. Not that they're too hostile to various people, but they're not skeptical enough of others or of their own views. And so, you know, I think it kind of, I would like to watch people in power get, you know, respectful but tough questions. And, and, you, and wait, that's what we're going to provide. Here for five months, and he's replaced three people. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stand next to me. I'm scared. Next thing you know, he gets he'll around. be doing two hours. He'll be on the five as well. Tucker, yeah. I wanted to ask you about your, um, how you decide on your stories. Because last night, I, I watched the show, and one of the, I thought it was great that you had a big segment about vaccines. Um, because that wasn't necessarily top of the news, but it is something that you're interested in. How do you come up with the, your decision for what you want to talk about each night? I respond to my email. That's a big part of it. A lot of people email or text. I know a lot of people just, you know, I'm old. Had a lot of work done, but I'm older than I look, and um, <laughs> That's for sure. people text me, right, and, I, and, and I've known Bobby Kennedy. I don't agree with his politics, but I think he's smart, and I think he's a brave guy who asks questions that are unpopular. I don't know what I think of vaccines. I vaccinated my kids. I mean, I'm for vaccines, yeah, yeah. but I also think it's legitimate to ask questions that nobody is. There are a lot of people who try to bully you into not asking those questions, and I just don't like that. I don't like people. It's a red flag for me when people say you're not allowed to ask that question, no matter what it's about. And... Um, you know, I'm a Protestant. I mean, I believe in kind of pushing on that stuff. Are and, you, um, wait, are you Episcopalian? I'm not going to admit that, but I'm okay. just saying, look. <laughs> because you kind of make this face when um, people, you're interviewing them, and they're saying kind of crazy stuff, and I call it, like, Episcopalian astonishment, where you go, 
<laughs> I am Episcopal. I'm one of like six Episcopalians left, but yes, I am. It's great. But, it's priceless. But the point is, I think you ought to be allowed to ask legitimate, respectful questions, and you ought to press for an answer. That's not threatening to me, and people who are threatened by that are usually trying to hide something. It's usually people in power, and I think it's fair to make them answer the question. And that's all he was doing. Okay, and we have him. one more question from Eric Bowling. Oh, I, listen, very quickly, um, I would just love to know if she, if Caitlyn Jenner was surprised at the reaction from either the conservatives or the liberals to, to her decision. You know, I don't know, because I, I mean, I've had no conversation with Caitlyn Jenner at any point ever. Um, that I, we're doing this cold on Monday, but I mean, I'm just really struck by the criticism I read about. You know, if you identify as, as one sort of person, you have to adopt an entire slate of political issues. I just don't agree with that. I think it's bizarre. Every person's an individual, and you ought to treat them that way, you I know, think. You uh, know, the producers are yelling, we've got to go, but I've got to ask you one fast question. In two sentences, can you tell me why you think the five is so successful? Oh the five, God. honestly, the five is so successful because it's great to watch. Every person's cool, interesting, and smart. It's great television. I'm honestly, I'm not exaggerating, going to watch every night. I watch every night now. All right. Well, thank you, All buddy. Right. Good All luck right, well, to you. Well, thank make you sure to tell your wife that you'll be home at 10:30 <laughs> instead of 9:30. All right, stay right there, Facebook Friday.